How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and Apple has just released its latest update, iOS 15.3, which as you can see, I'm already running because in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. All of the changes, new features, bug fixes and security updates. And of course, I'm also going to talk about performance, battery life, and at the end, let you know if you should or if you shouldn't update. So without further ado, Let's begin. So the first thing you got to keep in mind is that iOS 15.3 is mostly a bug fix, security and stability update. So let's start with that and let's start talking about the bug fixes. And definitely the most important of them all is the Safari data leak. This was absolutely huge. I'm not sure if you saw this, but there were reports all over the Internet about this throughout this past week. And the Safari leak was pretty much an exploit that allowed other people to actually have access to our browse history and also our Google ID. And this is really, really bad and really, really serious. So that's why Apple hurried so much to fix this problem with iOS 15.3. So this is already a big deal just because of this Safari leak. The next bug that iOS 15.3 patched is in Apple Music. And I had this bug on this iPhone and it was so, so annoying. So the bug pretty much caused music to pause. So I was listening to music and then it would just automatically pause. And I had so many people with this problem uh, thinking it was because of their AirPods or because of their Bluetooth connected to their car and so many other things, but it was just Apple Music. And in iOS 15.3, this was fixed. So the next bug is right here in your settings. So before iOS 15.3, if you opened up settings, and then scroll down to general and then go to iPhone storage. And keep in mind that this was not affecting all iPhones. For example, this iPhone was not affected by this bug, but another iPhone that I have here in the studio was affected. Um, it just wasn't displaying correctly the iPhone storage information. Uh, sometimes it wouldn't load, sometimes it would load, but the numbers would weren't correct. And it just was weird. The numbers, the calculation here, it was off, but now in iOS 15.3, it's fixed for everybody. The next bug fix has to do with the Apple Watch. And this fix is specifically for the Apple Watch Series 7. So if you have an Apple Watch Series 7 and you were having charging issues, yep, there was a bug. And just update your Apple Watch to watch OS 8.4 that came along iOS 15.3. And this issue is gone, it's completely fixed. So you can go ahead, update your Apple Watch, and then all of the charging issues will be fixed. Again, this is only for the Apple Watch Series 7. The next bug is right here on your notification center, more specifically on your notification summary. I don't really use notification summary, but I can show you here on the regular notifications. And the problem was under your notification summary, you just weren't able to just slide and clear a notification you would have to clear the whole thing and this was annoying but in iOS 15.3 this is fixed so if you use notification summary you be thankful there are two more smaller bug fixes but that I think it's interesting that I let you know one of them has also got to do with Apple music but while using CarPlay so if you use Apple CarPlay with Apple music uh, there were some problems in previous iOS 15 versions uh, especially when, with the now playing uh, page and when playing music and all of that, there were some pr problems with Apple CarPlay and all of those were fixed. And also in the home app, if you use cameras, there were also little problems here in the snapshot. So again, if you use cameras in the home app, this is fixed as well and everything is updated back to normal regarding cameras. There are actually a few more bug fixes and security changes. And if you want to check all of them, I'll have a link in the description to this page where you can see absolutely everything here. So as you can see, uh, bug fixes and changes in color sync, crash reporter, iCloud, uh, frame buffer, kernel and WebKit and a ton more stuff. So those are all minor. I mean, they're not as easy to explain and not easy to represent. So that's why I didn't show you in this video, but there are also some interesting stuff here. So if you're interested by this, 
Have a look, again, link in the description. Now let's talk about changes and new features in iOS 15.3. There are not really a lot, but there are a few that I wanna show you. And the most important of them has to do with iCloud Private Relay. So if you use this service, if you are an iCloud Plus subscriber, and if you use iCloud Private Relay, uh, now Apple will let you know if your carrier doesn't support Private Relay. So as you can see here, Private Relay is turned off for your cellular plan. And this is due to Verizon and a problem they had in the US. So um, it, it kind of automatically explains you right here on this image. So we will get a notification like that if your carrier doesn't support iCloud Private, Private Relay, it'll let you know that it's turned off because of the carrier. And again, this is only while you're using your 4G or 5G. When you're using Wi-Fi, no problem iCloud Private Relay will still be turned on. We have some other changes, but they are really so small, so tiny, that I don't even feel like showing you guys. Uh, one of them is in the podcast app, and the other one is right here in the legacy contact, contact in your settings. And the only changes are in the text, so only in some words written on menus, and this is so not exciting that I don't even feel like showing you, but I gotta let you know, right? So. New lettering here in podcasts and in the legacy contacts in your settings. But again, it's not different menus, it's not different features, not like that, just different texting. And now let's go to the more interesting stuff, which is performance, of course, performance and battery life. So let's talk about performance first. And I believe iOS 15.3 is probably the most relevant update regarding performance ever since iOS 15.0. So we've had quite a lot of other updates from 15.0.1, 15.1, 15.2, it's so many, many others, but I feel like iOS 15.3 is the one more relevant regarding performance because it's the one that I could really feel that the iPhone is more fluid, it's faster, it's snappier. Uh, there are not bugs or anything, it's so, so stable. So I really feel like iOS 15.3 has really polished iOS 15. I really, really like this update. And when we're talking about battery life, and this is a little bit more complicated because I've just been using iOS 15.3 for a few hours, but from my testings, I can let you know that iOS 15.3 will have at least a little bit more battery life, a little bit more battery performance compared to iOS 15.2 or 15.2.1. Maybe a few extra minutes here and there in your cycle at the end of the day. And last but not least, the final question, the conclusion, should you update to iOS 15.3? And the answer is yes, absolutely yes, if you are already on any version of iOS 15. So if you are between iOS 15.0 to iOS 15.2.1, you should definitely update to iOS 15.3 because of everything that I showed you, all of the bug fixes, all of the security changes, performance, battery life, and all of that. But if you're on a previous version, if you're holding on to iOS 14 or iOS 13 because you have a slightly older iPhone and you're holding on because you don't wanna update to iOS 15, just keep holding on. I wouldn't recommend updating right now. iOS 15.3 doesn't have anything super special for older iPhones, so I would just keep holding on to those older versions if you're on an older iPhone and just holding on to previous versions. Keep using those versions. Don't update just because of iOS 15.3, all right? So that's it. That's literally it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know iOS 15.3 wasn't super exciting, but all of the new additions were very welcome. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. On top of that, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon in order to get notified when I post a new video. And last but not least, hit the comment box down below and let me know what you thought about the video, the changes, about iOS 15.3 as a whole, and about Daniel Baltac. I always do appreciate all your feedback. So that's it, and I'll see you in a few days as usual. Bye-bye.